Hey friends, today we're gonna have a little man vs. machine challenge. Over here we got Harrison with his lemons and then pure strength. Let's see those muscles. And then we got London over here with her lemonade making robot. Hey, real quick, since this is the first lemonade making robot in the world that we've seen, we figured it needed a name. Let us know in the comments below what you think the name should be. So over the past several weeks, We've been working with several kids to invent a lemonade making robot that can run a lemonade stand for us. And we built this robot one step at a time. And step one is to come up with a plan. So these plans were submitted by all of you and we took the best ideas from all those plans and we turned all the plans into a master plan for how we would invent our lemonade making robot. And we knew from past lemonade stands we were gonna need to squish lemons, we were gonna need to add sugar and add water. And the squishing lemons part, that was gonna be the hardest. But lucky for us, we were able to use the astronaut can crusher from our Mission to Mars crate to help us crush the lemon. And while it worked, it crushed the lemon, the juice got everywhere. And in fact, it ruined the plans. That's why they look all messed up like this. So we went back to the drawing board and figured out a way to try and contain the juice. What do you think, Shrub? Do you have any thoughts? And so adding the juice catcher helped a lot, but it's still not a robot, because you have to do everything by hand. And to make it robotic, we used a little microcontroller like this Arduino in order to bring it to life. But in order to control it and make it robotic, we had to electrify some stuff, like our pumping mechanism. To do that, we used the crank slide pump from our Mission to Mars crate. A crank slide is a cool device in engineering that converts a spinning motion into a back and forth motion. So we convert the spinning motion of the electric motor to the back and forth motion of our pump. We also need a little contraption to make the crusher go back and forth. That's what this guy is. It's basically some water valves inside of a frame with some gears attached so that when you spin this little electric motor, the valves turn one direction and when you spin the motor the other way, they turn the other direction. And to tell the microcontroller where the valves were, we use this potentiometer. A potentiometer is just a little electrical device like this that as it turns, it makes it easier or harder for the electricity to pass through it. And then the last piece of the puzzle are these little limit switches that tell our crusher when it's gone all the way in one direction or all the way in the other direction. When it came time to programming the microcontroller, it was really helpful to think about it if you were telling it what to do in English. So when you push this button, you want the valves to rotate to the crush position. Then you want the pump to turn on. The pump runs until the crusher makes it all the way to the bottom limit switch, then the pump stops, the valves turn to retract, the pump turns back on, and it continues to pump until it's fully retracted and then it stops and it waits for you to push the button again. So that's what the program does, but in order to do that, you gotta speak to it in computer language. Beep, boop, beep, 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 boop, boop. Once we got the crusher all figured out, we made a water adder. Well, we didn't actually make it. We stole it from an upcoming project. We can't tell you what it is, but if you love animals, you'll probably find it pretty cool. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'd be the first to know whenever it goes live. Sorry, ADD. Uh, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, the water adder. Well, basically it uses gravity, just like a water tower does. So when you hit the button, the servo turns, which opens the water valve, letting water flow from this cup up here down into your lemonade cup. And then for the sugar adder, we basically took two servo motors, glued them together. So yeah, when you push this button, the sugar adder basically catapults sugar into your cups and just about as much out of the cup. And then there's just like a spoon glued to the end of it. Super simple, but it's kind of cool. We took all this and attached it to this board so that we could transport it. And while it's nothing pretty, it definitely works. And with it working, we can continue to tweak things to make it better. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Did I miss anything, Harry? Um, no. <laughs> okay, back to the competition. So the rules are simple. I've got a dollar for the first person that makes me an entire cup of lemonade. I got you a dollar. Oh, you almost had it. You're gonna be quicker than that. And on the count of three, we're gonna start. One, Two, three, go. Ah! Oh, oh no, he's beating us. Hold on, we're gonna improvise real quick. Oh, this is disgusting. Oh, what? Yeah! <laughs> I'm on my 
almost done. Yeah. Time, we have a winner, that's it. Woo. So our snail trophy is gonna go to Harrison for, for having the slowest lemonade maker. No. The fastest. Uh, the, no. the, jury, the jury's out. Congratulations, man. So believe it or not, there actually was no competition. If we hadn't have cheated and added the drill, it would have taken us about 15 minutes to make an entire glass of lemonade. Harry took about a minute. So yeah, I think it's safe to say we made the world's only lemonade making robot, but we've also made the world's worst lemonade making robot. But even if you're trying to make the best or the worst robot, it's always best to start simple and you can continue to improve it from there. Like ours, now that it's working, we know a lot of ways that we can make it better. But it's kind of fun being as ugly as it is. But yeah, let us know what you think about the name. Be sure to drop that below and any ideas that you have for ways that we could improve our lemonade making robot. Anyway, have a wonderful day. Now you go make something and keep it simple.